You've probably heard the term API be thrown around a lot since you started learning how to program. And if you're still wondering what an API is, well, then you're in the right spot. Stick around. First, what is an API? An API stands for Application Program Interface, and we use APIs every day in our lives. Basically, APIs are like a bridge, letting different apps talk to each other and transfer data and information between each one. I like to think of APIs kind of like going to order food. I know what I want, but I don't know what's all going on in the kitchen to get that done. Everything's being done. You're just giving me what I asked for. I asked for this bit of data, you know, my takeout food, and you gave it to me. I don't know the whole process of how you got the food, how you cook the food, all the things going on in the kitchen. And I don't need to know. I just want my food. And that's the best way I like to think of APIs. APIs can save developers a whole lot of time because you don't have to reinvent the wheel or build new features from scratch. You can just take features from other apps, data from other apps, and integrate it into the app that you are working on. Some common examples are using Google Maps, signing into Facebook, grabbing a weather forecast, but basically it uses the same kind of language that your web browser does. You got ways to get data, post data, put data, and delete data. The basic workings of a CRUD app, create, read, update, delete. Most of the time when you're working with APIs, they are in the form of a JSON and JSON files are structured with key value pairs. That way you can have the same keys, but have different values to read through it. It makes reading the information a lot easier when you're using JSON and is one of the most commonly used files. Most of the APIs you see will be a RESTful API and REST stands for representational, representation, representation, representational state transfer. Now, when you're using API, security is something that you got to think of. Usually APIs are used with API keys. These keys allow you to do rate limits. So if you're pinging a different server for information, you can't ping them too often and span them with a million a minute. So sometimes people charge for their API data and some of them are just free. There's a whole list of free ones that you can use for starter projects. And a lot of companies will allow you, if you're doing it for a learning project, will allow you to use their APIs for free so you can teach yourself. But I mean, once you start going down the rabbit hole of what an API is and who uses it, it is wild how often we use APIs in our day-to-day -day living. Whether you're learning programming or not, APIs are probably an integral part of your life if you're online at any time. But my suggestion is to start building little projects with APIs. JSON files are normally how APIs communicate. That's a good way to get started. Make something small. There's so many tutorials out there. Start building a project. Share it in your comments if you make something. I'd like to see it. Thank you. Later.